good morning children today in our math class we'll see how to frame the greatest and the smallest number using the given digit it will be given in as a single digit you have to frame a four digit number okay greatest and smallest okay so for to arrange in a great to form a greatest number you have to arrange in descending order okay arrange the dig digits in dig uh, descending order to form the number and to form a smallest number arrange in ascending order arrange the digits in ascending order to form the number shall we start now children okay so now see your exercise exercise 2.5 form the greatest and smallest numbers using the given digits only once you have to use the digits only once first one 1 4 3 7 are the digits given to you okay what are the digits 1 4 3 7 how to from form a greatest four digit number without repeating this digits okay so greatest number i told you to arrange the digits in descending order is yes there no so which is the greatest now digit here 7 so write 7 first then which is the second largest number digit 4 so 4 then third one is 3 then 1 so this is the greatest number and smallest number you have to arrange in arrange the digits in ascending order so smallest digit is 1 next one is 3 then 4 then 7 suppose if you have zero in your question what to do so that for that also for the greatest number no problem you can arrange in descending order as it is okay so which is the largest digit here greatest digit 9 so your question is 5093 these are the digits given which is greatest digit 9 then the second greatest is 5 then 3 at last it will take 0 while writing smallest you have to arrange in ascending order yes or no children so if you want to arrange in ascending order 0 should be first yes or no but you should not write 0 to the first because if you are starting any number with 0 it will not have any value we are writing zero at the back of any other number or any other number only it has value okay so if you are writing zero to the first it will become a three digit number but we have we have to frame a four digit number here so write the second smallest number three then you write zero immediately after the second smallest number just write zero then third smallest five then the greatest number digit 9 okay so this is how you have to frame the greatest and smallest number using the given digits okay children so shall we see the second roman so a second roman is circle the smallest number and tick the greatest number so now you are going to compare all the numbers given to you and you are going to circle the smallest and the and tick the greatest number okay so here in this five set of numbers any one number one set will be smallest and one will be greatest not everyone will be the smallest and not everyone every every number will be the greatest is yes, our no children yes 
so now you just compare the numbers with using the digits see everything has four digit digits in uh, in its number so now see here 2 2 2 2 2 in thousands place so next one is 7 1 5 1 2 which is greatest 7 1 5 1 2 which is greatest 7 is greatest so you have to tick the greatest number now you have found which is greater and now we have to find which is smallest yes or no so one will be the smallest but you have two one so check the next digit here you have seven and here you have five which is smallest seven is smallest or five is smallest oh, yes obviously five is smallest so circle this number this is the smallest number so now the greatest number you have selected and the smallest number you have selected shall we go to the next one so see here the here also you have all four digit numbers okay five set of four digit numbers you have so you see you have to choose the smallest and greatest check the digits six two three eight nine which is greatest nine six two three eight nine so there is no repetition of the digits yes or no so nine will be the greatest nine thousand will be the greatest so tick that one so six two three eight which will be the smallest two two will be the smallest two. so circle two okay so have you all understood how to uh, write the smallest four digit number how to frame the greatest small uh, uh, four digit number and how to find the smallest and greatest number okay so uh, in the next class we will see addition okay thank you